Profit Pulse is back with video number two in our Bubble.io series with our step-by-step -step guide for setting up your web app to convert PDFs to text. First, we will talk about how do I host a Python script on a server for free in the cloud and host it on pythonanywhere.com, deploy it, and link Bubble.io to this API using the plugin connector. We won't have to pay any money to bubble.io. However, if you want to run the Python Anywhere API on your own, it will require a $5 a month subscription to that website. Or if you want to do it for free, we have set up a Profit Pulse API that you can use in order to achieve this. To sign up for that API, join our waitlist. It's at the top of the page at profitpulse.ai. However, I will show you exactly how to do all of this. We wrote some boilerplate code that you will be able to copy and paste directly into Python Anywhere, and then input your personal Python Anywhere URL on the bubble.io screen, and it will work without you having to change the code. However, the code that you will use if you have our API will be slightly different, and you will receive that after we respond to your application. Our first task on this journey will be to click on the web tab once we have created our Python Anywhere account and logged in. This is the free account, so I'll click on web, I'll click on add a new web app, I'll click on next, I'll click on Flask, I'll click the latest Python version 3.1 in this video, and then you'll, you'll be able to name it. You can leave the default name if you would like. I'm going to change it from Flask app to Flask PDF and I'll click next. Now it's running. So I will click on run until three months from today. If you're using the free version, log in. Once every three months, click that button to keep it on. If you pay for the account, it's $5 a month. You won't have to do that. So you'll then come back to the dashboard. Once you're back at the dashboard, before we put the code in, we're going to need to go to this thing called the bash console. We need to install a Python library very quickly. It's very easy. It's very simple. You will type in PIP 3.10 install PDF plumber. I already did this, so it will show requirement already satisfied. Then you'll type in exit. Close the console. What you'll now do is click on the Python icon, the top left, come back to the dashboard, and we can now paste the code. So I will click on the app from this file button at the front, and you'll be able to download this code from the video description, paste it, and if you want to read through it, you can. You can paste it to an LLM to confirm what it's doing. All we're doing is, this is the logger, so we've imported the different libraries that we need, and we're creating the log so that we can review any errors that might come up. This is the hello world function. It just works if you click on the, the first domain, the, the root domain. And then this download PDF is really the, the secret sauce, if you will. All this is going to do is it sets up the API in order to be fed through Bubble. So you'll take the copy paste it. You can look at the code and you'll click on save. Once you've pasted the code in, you can click on run. You'll see the interpreter open up. There will be no issues there. And typically, if I make changes to this, I'll click on save, and then I'll click on this reload button. But this will, all, this will be all you'll need for now. Now the second step will be to set up our Bubble I.O. app in order to connect to this API. So we will come back to the Bubble I.O. app. You'll recognize this from the last video where we were able to upload PDF. And here's our PDF that we'll be using today. Once you have your PDF link, you'll come back to your Bubble app and you'll go to the plugins page. If you haven't installed any plugins yet, you'll click on the add plugins button. And it's this API connector tool that we need. So we will install that. 
This will allow us to connect to Python anywhere. You'll see a screen like this where it will ask you if you want to add another API. So we will click that. I'm going to name this API simply PDF underscore API. We'll leave the authentication as self-handled. And then we're going to add our call. This will be the API call. Let's expand this out. And I will name this PDF underscore call. And now we need to make sure that we change these settings. So we'll change use as data to use as action. Data type will not be JSON. The data type will be text. And we will change get to post. Now, this is where we will paste the URL from our Python Anywhere. I will give you this, what you'll need to do, you'll paste it in, and it's going to be set up to handle the API that we built. You will need to change the first part to your username. So what you see here highlighted, it'll be HTTP colon slash slash, and then you will put your Python Anywhere username here and that's how it will know to talk to your Python Anywhere account. It will then ask you to fill in the keys and values based on the URL we put in there. The URL, you're going to paste your PDF from the other page when we uploaded it, and the name is simply going to be the name of the PDF. So I'm gonna just name it, I'm just going to type in PDF underscore name. Now we'll need to uncheck the two private buttons, and then this is where you'll find an issue if you're using the free version of Python Anywhere. You click on Initiate Call, and it will not work. The reason for this is that the free version of Python Anywhere is limited in the websites it can interact with. What you can do here is if you want to build the API yourself, go ahead and upgrade your Python Anywhere account to $5 a month. And I would recommend doing this because you'll be able to do a lot of other things once you get the hang of this. And there's gonna be more videos that we create. But if you don't wanna spend any money, go to profitpulse.ai and we've already built the free API for you to use here where it will work. You'll connect to essentially our own Python API and in indicate that you're interested there and we'll reach out to you soon thereafter and we'll provide all of the code that you need, again, completely free and good for just testing this out probably not something you'd want to build a live production app on. This is just a way for you to understand how to do that. For purposes of this video, I've gone ahead and upgraded this account to a paid account. It's only $5. And I'm going to show you now. I'll reinitialize the call and it worked. I've successfully downloaded and parsed the PDF on the Python Anywhere server using Bubble.io. So you can come over here, go to your files and see that if you click on files, the PDF output.txt file is now here. We've written that text directly to a txt file. If you're running your own Python Anywhere account, you can come here, download this, confirm it works. But if you're using the Profit Pulse API and you want to see this working, we can build a couple buttons on the Bubble.io app to show the movement here. So we will now do that for those of you who use the Profit Pulse API. The first thing we'll do is go back to our design page. We're going to throw on a couple buttons. The new button is going to be a simple button. I'm going to name it parse inside of the text, and then I'm going to leave the name button parse alone. Then what we want to do is show a text box Depending on the size of your PDF, you might need to make this pretty big. It can take some time. You, you have to really manipulate this. I'm going to leave it this size for now. We'll call it text space parse. And the edit me, we'll leave it alone as edit me. We're almost there. You'll right click the parse button, the blue button, and we want to start or edit workflow. Now, we will click Add Action and type in the word API. Here's the API call that we already set up and built. The path, what you want to put in the path is dynamic data. And this needs to be the dropdown, dropdowns value. It's going to be the URL from the dropdown box. 
And then for path name, we'll leave it at PDF name. Next that out. Let's add the next action. Here, let's type in set state of element. We will choose index. And then we just need to name this. I'm using something called PDF state. I'll recreate it here. So you just type in PDF underscore state, push enter, let's type in PDF underscore state, create the new custom state. The type is text. You'll type in PDF state. The state type, you will select text, click create. And the value here, you'll type in, you will click this where it will be the result of the API. Click off you'll see it's being blue and that's it. Once this workflow looks like this, click on design, double click that text box we had just created. And we're actually going to take out what we put before and click insert dynamic data. Here, we will put the state that we just created it will be dynamic data and it will be indexes, custom states, PDF state. Click off that, click X and now we'll test it out. I'm going to upload the file, wait for it to finish, select it from the drop down. Here's my URL. I'm going to parse it. Boom. We've converted the text. So now that we've done this, you can think about what you might want to do with it. By building your own API, you are unlocking tremendous ability to begin interacting with LLMs at the API level. We're going to be able to summarize tremendous amounts of content and really level up our ability to synthesize information. Those are just my ideas. I'm sure you have your own as well. And, and again, even for those, of the, for those of you who want to use the Profit Pulse API to get it off the ground, I'll just remind you, you can go to Profit Pulse to indicate you're interested in that. Really curious to know what you want to build with this. As well, we are opening a Discord server to invite you to come chat with us, build with us, figure out ways to use this technology. So please check that out in the video description and come say hello. Thank you so much for watching. Apologies for how long this second video took versus the last one. Really appreciate everyone's patience. The plan is to take a very short break coming up for Thanksgiving in the United States and then get video number three up and running so that you can actually start using this tool with any other LLM that you can think of. Thanks. I'll see you in the Discord.